With the coming of the monsoons in the month of Sawan, the green fields of maize all over the Himalayas are topped with a sheen of gold. This is the plume on top of the corn, indicating that the plant is now full of juicy seeds and that the farmer can expect a good harvest. This is the signal for celebration that the farmers look forward to, and between the second and third Sunday of Sawan, the people of Chamba gear up to celebrate this rite of spring. Chamba in Himachal Pradesh lies on a series of plateau-like formations on the right bank of the Ravi River Valley between the Dholadhar and the Zanskar Ranges. Chamba is an ancient town with a rich architectural tradition. The magnificent 9th and 10th century temples are an example of the Shikha style, then widely prevalent in the region and marked by the fineness of their stone and wood carvings. The region's tradition of fine architecture continues to be evident in the 18th century Akhand Chandi Palace, reflecting an interesting blend of Indo-Saracenic and British colonial styles. Like most hill folk, the people of Chamba are a tradition-bound community, with their homes and rituals having remained largely unchanged. Traditions of art and architecture form a part of daily life. Famous Chamba Rumals are exquisite examples of needle painting skills. The motives have much in common with the famous Chamba school of miniature paintings. Chamba has also long been renowned for its leather sandals, necessary perhaps for the hardy hill walkers. <laughs>
The ceremonial parade is the highlight of the Mindy festivities and the entire community lines the streets to witness it. More than any other event, the ritual procession marks the coming together of the people of the region in a common interactive space. It is a means by which the shared values, beliefs and rituals are given public expression to reaffirm their cultural identity and their pride in being Chambians. The procession culminates on the banks of the river Ravi, where the crowd now converges. In a final homage to the river, which for the people of the valley is their life spring, everyone now flings the golden tassel that had so proudly adorned their chests into the river. The gesture marks the end of the week of festivities. As the dancing, tossing waves sweep the golden harvest away, it is time to shore the memories of a week of fun and laughter and carefully hold them so as to look back with pleasure throughout the months to come until it is minja time again.